Welcome to Samuel's Rima Theological Seminary. It's good to see you. We're looking at Watchman Nee, the messenger of the cross. He writes, We need to pay special attention to the word flow here. Such a term does not suggest the use of platform tactics, a certain tone of voice, some profound psychology, some eloquence, argument or learning. Although these may at times be helpful, they themselves are neither the living water nor the mechanism by which the living water issued forth. To flow suggests something most natural. It requires no human effort but simply follows the grade. There is no need to depend on eloquence or argument. By our faithful proclaiming the word of Jesus' cross, people will receive the life which they lack. The life and power of the Holy Spirit appears to flow naturally through our spirit. Otherwise, no matter how passionately we preach, our audience will listen passively. And even if sometimes they may seem to pay full attention and may seem to understand and be moved, nevertheless what we say can only draw a praise from their mouths without having them life and power to do what they hear. May we be the channels of God's life today. To be channels we must have experience or else the Holy Spirit will not work with us. For the work we do after receiving the power of the Holy Spirit carries with it the nature of testimony. See Luke 24 verse 48 to 49. As a matter of fact, all our work bears witness to the Lord. He who testifies cannot testify to what he has not seen. Even the spirit of the hearer is not sufficient evidence. No one can testify without personal experience. To put it even more candidly, the one who has no experience of what he proclaims is a fake witness. And because of this, the Holy Spirit refuses to work with such individuals. Still another thing we ought to know is that when the Holy Spirit works, even for that matter, when the evil spirit works, it is required that man be the outlet of the power. In case we have not experienced what we proclaim, the Holy Spirit cannot use us to be his channel to transmit his life to the heart of another people. Hence may the cross which we pro proclaim crucify us on it. May we bear the cross we preach. May we first receive the life which we intended to impart to others. May the cross which we pro proclaim be that which we experience daily in our lives. If our message is to produce eternal effect, it must first become the food of our soul. Through the trials of daily li living, it is burned into our very being so that we bear the mark of the cross in our very action. Those who hear who bear branded in their body the marks of the Lord Jesus Christ, Galatians 6.17, can alone proclaim him. Oh, let me remind you that sudden thought or knowledge obtained from books and study may please the audience tempor temporarily, but it will leave no permanent impression. If our work is simply for human appreciation, then we have already done our duty by presenting mental and emotional source materials. Fortunately, though, our work is not for such a purpose.